we weren't where we are today, sitting together to celebrate our Teenovator experience. But instead, what if we were all together in a lifeboat, adrift in the ocean? What would we be thinking about? When will we get to the shore so that you can get out of the boat? Does anybody have an oar so that we can paddle to shore? I'm getting thirsty. Is there anything to drink on board this boat? I'm feeling hot. Should I dive into the water to cool off? But once cooled off, would the others on the boat then let me get back in? Are these sharks I see swimming in the water beside us? What can I do to save myself? When our well-being's at risk, we tend to be very selfish and focus on things we might do to save ourselves. It is unlikely any of us would volunteer to sacrifice our own lives just to save others. But would we join one another to do what's required from each other in order to save us all? As our boat begins to wobble under its weight, and water begins spilling over its sides, we all would be forced to answer the same question. What can I do to save the boat from sinking? Tonight, go outside and look up at the sky and hopefully see thousands of stars and other planets like ours, the Earth, floating in this sea of darkness. Have you ever thought... <clears throat> Wow, uh, the Earth maybe is our lifeboat. To us humans, merely a fraction of the Earth's inhabitants, we are afloat in the galaxy, attached by gravity and alive because we are fortunate enough to inhabit a planet that supplies whatever species here needs to survive and flourish. But unfortunately, we are not adrift in a galaxy that allows our boat to ignore the need for deferred maintenance and preventative care. Having past experience the hottest year, having just experienced the hottest year ever on record, together with an abundance of weather conditions which have redefined nature's realm of the possible, I feel an increased need to repair and restore our boat so that we and all of the species living on it can avoid perishing. For me, at my age, I feel confident I can stand here safely on the shore and look calmly out at the ocean. But you, with a future lifespan of 70 plus years, shouldn't feel so confident. What does make me confident, however, is that Teenovator has given you the innovation skills, the access to resources, and the passion to develop new and better ways to solve problems, ways that can prevent the inevitable from actually occurring. As unpredictable as Mother Nature has become, so has the achievement of scientists and entrepreneurs in finding ways to combat one, climate change, two, environmental crises, and through promoting the values evident in people like you, human in action. I am proud that you have evidenced the will, the focus, and the mindset needed to enable you to pick up the oars and paddle our planet to safety. Full speed ahead.